Hey Naturalistas, welcome back to my channel. It's Nia here, and if you're new here or you're just not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and I'm putting in my favorite leave-in conditioner, um, which is the Kinky Curly Leave-In and Detangler. Now I'm gonna go in with this Pocaxi Nexter um, Curl Twisting Custard which actually wound up being the perfect product to use. I know a lot of people use heavy gels for their finger coils, but my hair does not like heavy gels. When I uh, did like a few test ones with a heavy gel with Eco Styler gel, my hair was like, nah. So I'm going in with something lighter, and this is the perfect product, honestly, in my opinion. Now, if you have 4C hair or your hair is super thick, I would recommend using a heavier product. My hair is about 4B slash 4A, and it is thin, so a lighter product is what works for me. But do a couple test ones with different products, see what works for you best. So to make these finger coils, you're literally just twisting, twisting, twisting all day long until your arms fall off. And I actually mean that. I had to take a break because my arms hurt so bad, but I'm just using a little bit of product. I'm pinching away a little bit of hair and I'm running the product from roots to tip. And then I'm starting with the roots, making sure they're twisted really well at the roots. And then I'm working my way down to the ends of my hair. And that's literally all there is to it. <laughs> So just like that, your first row is done. It'll look something like this. Trust me, your hair will shrink up <laughs> once it dries. So I sectioned off my next section of hair. I'm spraying it with some rose water, but you can go ahead and use whatever kind of water you wanna use. Comb your hair through with a fine tooth comb and then start the process all over again. <laughs> So now that my second row is complete, I'm going to fast forward to the front of my hair where I switched up how I was doing things just a little bit. So I grabbed the whole section of hair, I just dampened my hair with some water, and then I put the uh, Percaxi Nectar all over that whole entire section as opposed to one section at a time. And then I'm just taking a little chunk of hair out of that section and twisting it. And honestly, I realized at this point, my arms were tired, I was getting lazy, but it was giving me basically the same result as I was in the back, it just wasn't as uniform which I realize also doesn't really matter so don't feel like you have to be a stickler about parting or anything like that so this is what my hair looked like when it was done and still damp and this was my hair when it was done and dried you can see these lovely coils you can leave it like this if you'd like I personally didn't want to and that's why we're gonna move over to the next day this is my hair. Um, I've already started to coil out some of my coils. You can see the ones in the front are still flat because I slept with the scarf on, but we're gonna go ahead and unravel these coils. So I'm gonna use a combination of almond oil and a, my curling custard. So I'm covering my hands with the almond oil and then using just a little bit of the curling custard. And then I'm basically rubbing these two products together. Doing this will do two things for me, which I will get to in just a second, but you wanna grab one of your coils See where your hair naturally wants to section off and kind of twist that apart and you'll get a really beautiful spiral curl. Like these are gorgeous guys. Look, I'm just putting my finger in where my hair is naturally just trying to chunk off and peel apart in its own little curl, twisting it and letting it spiral. So the combination of the oil and the custard do two things. The oil allows for a lot of slip and allows you to go in and decreases the frizz the custard helps to kind of seal everything together. Once again, making sure that there's no frizz involved in this. We just want beautiful, beautiful spiral curls. So now I'm going in with a pick and I'm just gently, gently lifting up my roots just to make sure this look isn't very scalpy and it looks very full and curly, which is the ultimate goal. So I just went in and styled my edges a little bit, but guys, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this finger coil tutorial. Once again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. I have tons and tons of short natural hair styling videos, so make sure you click the links and watch those as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.